My name is Emma Pallon Brown. I'm a professional triathlete uh, from the UK and here living and training in South Africa. Working with the core team, it's been really helpful already in my training. I think the first thing I really noticed is that your skin temperature and your core temperature don't always correlate. So I could be feeling super, super hot and overheated and actually my core temperature isn't that high. So I think, first of all, it was collecting the data and then working with the team to know the ranges. Quite a lot of times I find humidity really, really hard condition. So it gets me super fit, but sometimes pushing it over the edge and actually getting ill. So the heat index stress score um, has just meant that I can keep a monitor on that and know actually when I'm over pushing and have to back it off a little bit just so that I don't get um, overrun, ill, injured um, and can keep that consistency of training. I've started to actually get to know my body better. And so I can now be very specific of when I am and when I am not training in a heat adaptation uh, zone. What I love about indoor training is that you can standardize the environment and that means that you can track the data so you can compare it on different days. I also love that I can see my core temperature in lifetime because the device connects to my phone and I have my phone beside me on the treadmill and on the turbo. It just attaches really easily. I just clip it to my heart rate band and use the safety kit to secure it in there. So I've always struggled with humidity um, and I've been scared to train in it because often I've been ill, um, but I know that I can get benefits from training in humidity. And so now I have this data that I can work with. I'm super excited to go and do a humidity training camp um, and prepare for uh, races such as Singapore and know that actually um, I can have the data, data there and not run the risk of passing out in those kind of really severe conditions that have been a big problem for me in the past.